I'm currently waiting right now for the CEO to get here so that I can show him a new potential stomp bag, which I'm really excited about. Um, an American-made. An American-made stomp bag, which is really hard to do. And so he should be showing up here shortly. Don't know what that looks like. I'm up and I have a meeting in four hours and 41 minutes in Dallas and it's gonna take me four hours to get there. So I gotta grab kits from here, throw them in the truck, drive to Dallas, go talk with somebody so that they, we can sell kits and people won't die. 10 minutes out on the kits, they're building them right now. Hurry! <laughs> yeah, I just did that. Uh, can I show you something? Yeah. What's up, bud? Oh. So the other day you mentioned something, you were like, man, stop selling Condor, because it's not American made. And uh -huh. I've been like in negotiations with two different bag manufacturers. Uh -huh. So we just got our first one early. Oh, I can see it from her. Um, this is in Ranger Green, Multicam, Black, Coyote, and wait for it, Red. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Stomp bag is SEAL Team Operational Medical Pack. It's a hospital that lives on your bag for when you are legitimately operating like an operator. Uh, but it also has a lot of applications for preparedness, um, for just general readiness, search and rescue, disaster relief, law enforcement, obviously military. There's a certain level of medical acumen that one should have in order to be able to use a stomp bag. You're getting beyond trauma medicine, the March algorithm. Uh, you're getting beyond uh, basic life support, airway management, bleeding control, and moving into advanced life support. That's why there's instrumentation in the stomp bag. Uh, that's why there's medication in the stomp bag. That's why you can, you know, have uh, IV start sets, transfusion kits, things like that, because it's advanced life support. Because the whole idea behind a stomp bag, SEAL Team, operational medical pack. So you got 14 guys who are on the ground for an extended period of time. Two of those guys should be medics or medic qualified. And if somebody gets shot, stabbed, blown up while they're operating, we don't just like, hey, can we get an ambulance over here to Ramadi? <laughs> like, that's not going to happen, right? It's going to take a hot minute. So that's why the stomp bag was developed and then we do what we do. We took the stomp bag and then made it even better than what the military gives their guys. Right. Um, I like it. This is And this is Squatch, you said? Yep. Squatch Survival. Uh, and this is his only identifier here. I love and it. So, Keep it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, he made the friggin' bag. He deserves it. I've wanted one in red forever as forever. well because all the tactical cool guy operators should have kits. They know they should have kits. But everybody else that doesn't necessarily need multicam, ranger green, OD, multicam black, right? Uh, Marpat, like the normal everyday citizen. I've wanted a red stomp bag forever. Right? And so the fact that he can make these in red is friggin' sick. It's red and then black webbing, so it stays exactly in line with what we already did. I dig it. See you more. Chris, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Chris. Chris, Bob. Bob, how Pleasure, are you doing? Man. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. So we started this in my barn three and a half years ago. Oh, nice. One hour a week, uh, me filling orders by myself. And we're, in March, it'll be four years. And we've got 22 families that earn a living off of this company now. We've got products on four continents. We saved 60 lives to date that we know of. And we've been looking for two years for an American-made bag that we can put our stomp bag in because I'm over this Chinese-made bullshit. And when we Quits on you when you need it. It's yeah. a personal pet peeve of mine. I came back from contracting in 2012 and was just like, let's go. I'm tired of Chinese crap. Yep. yep. Us too. So. Yeah, I was super stoked when Bob, I walked in the office one day. He's like, you're not allowed to be here yet. It's like, I own the place. <laughs> what, what, what's going on? And he's like, well, nice. I, I wanted to show you, but I, it's not ready yet. I'm like, what are we doing? And, and he showed me your pack that they were packing a stomp bag into. Which is on the table. And I was like, check it out. oh, let's go over there. Yeah. Look. panels here that you can run with. Um, both have trauma capability here. So if you need to run and, and do some trauma work, this is the dual sided. So you have emergency trauma dressings, cat tourniquets, trauma packs. And then on the opposite side, you have glass bandages, decomp needles, uh, clamshell for CPR, as well as some airway stuff here. Uh, you have, and then in the actual pack itself, so this will be where the red handles are. Mm -hmm. And so you'll be pulling the red handles, much like all of our other kits when they have red handles. Um, in here, this is all just abdominal gauze here and then a rolled gauze. So this is just assorted gauzes. I'm assuming when they ship, they get labeled like this. Yeah, yeah. we love loop. So, all right, so you want loop, we'll put yeah. loop on it. So you're familiar with uh, TCCC, like, uh, don't quiz me on it. I didn't know Care under fire, tactical field care, Kazavac slash Medivac. Yep. And so 
uh, care under fire, rounds are incoming, bad stuff is still happening. It's a hot zone. We render self-aid, predominantly tourniquets, right? Yep. And then we take hot to warm, which means re-engagement could happen. You know, bad things could still happen, but it's warm, right? We've uh, established firepower superiority. Now we go from just putting tourniquets on to busting the IFACs out. Now we're doing airway management, respiratory, wound packing, stuff like that. We're at dock level stuff for this infantry. Right, <laughs> right. right. So, but see, that's part of what we do as well. We teach people how to do that stuff, nice. right? Civilians, military, see, law I didn't enforcement, know you EMS. Guys taught that until oh, just yeah, very we, recently. We have an entire training division that travels the country and teaches people how to not die. We don't think that real people are going to use these in shitty situations. We know that real people do use, use these in shitty, shitty situations. situations. Yeah. And we some of the saves that we've had have come out of stomp bags. Yep. Nice. So prioritization is really important for us that if there's round snapping overhead and you're behind a burnt out car or the corner of a building or micro terrain, you got two foot elevation and dirt and we're going to lay right here and work on this guy. I don't want to have to be digging for the stuff that I need while I'm watching you bleed out. Yeah, time right? is time is critical. Exactly. This thing's awesome. Like, I've waited my whole life for this thing, like straight up. It's funny, because all I wanted to do was want to make a pack that didn't break your body down, that wore well, yep. and was functional. Yep. Like, it's functional. Yep. When we started with, like, the size pack we're talking about over here, that kit, the stomp bag, I made one, because we've got two different ministries, one of which does disaster deployment. I made one for me. I wanted one. And, uh... I shot a video on it like, hey, if you want to build one, this is what I would put in it. And a bunch of people were like, well, I, I'd rather buy one than make one. Yeah. It, it's a lot. It's spendy. Yeah. So I was no, talking no, no. with my wife, and she's like, well, I'll just put it in the store. If you sell one a year, so be it. <laughs> one a year. <laughs> um, I've been blown away by the response to it. And then again, it's, you know, there's the civilian side, there's the law enforcement side, but there's also fire EMS. Right. And then DOD. Uh, it's been really interesting to see who pops up out of the woodwork wanting these things, and I would much prefer to sell them that kit in your bag than to sell them, you know, the bags that we had weren't bad, but they're not this. This is finally the American-made Stomp Bag 2.0 from Refuge Medical. I have been trying to find an American vendor for this bag for over a year. We've been working on refining this bag from Squatch since December of 2022, it finally launches tomorrow. This exceeds Naval Special Warfare specification for a SEAL Team Operational Medical Pack. It's the best freaking hospital on your back that you can buy. There's nothing else like it in the world. I don't care who says what. This is better than what SEALs run, and it's 100% made in America. It's guaranteed forever. If you break it, I'll replace it. If you use the components to save a life, I'll replace those. This is legit, like the best capability that you can possibly own as a civilian for trauma med medicine. It's, it's incredible, and I'm super stoked about it.